Kate Dowdy. I'm the patron of the Aussie Hands Foundation. So I was born without my right hand, so I have a wrist um, and finger bud. So for me growing up, uh, it was it was hard initially to do certain tasks. Uh, I found things, for example, like cutting uh, food was always a bit of a task because I couldn't hold a knife and a fork at the same time. Um, swinging on monkey bars was always quite hard and it was something that I always want to try and figure out. But I was quite thankful because my parents took the approach that it was, you know, if Kate wants to do it, she'll try and, you know, we'll figure out a way of how we can allow her to do what a lot of other kids are doing. Uh, so having that environment had made made my experiences a lot easier. Um, and I think, you know, there was always a way of figuring it out. It wasn't like I can or can't do something. It was, yeah, you can, I just might have to do it in a different way to other children. background is equestrian and I've been uh, representing Australia for many years and uh, represented Australia at the World Championships for Paraquestrian. So I think I would have been riding horses since I was about six years old. Um, it took a while to figure out how to hold the reins properly so I use a loop which is attached um, to the reins and that goes around my, my wrist which has helped. So from that perspective I've always loved horses, um, they've been in my family. Um, my mum used to ride and my dad's involved in the horse industry, so it's always been there. So, uh, it took me a while to figure out how to hold the rein, so that sort of was a bit frustrating for me. I used to tie the two reins together in sort of a knot, so it was sort of sitting um, in front of me on the saddle where I could sort of just hold with my left hand. Uh, but then that sort of proved to be a bit harder for balance and I couldn't really have as much control, especially learning how to ride. And then we learned how to hold the reins with a loop for my wrist to go through and sort of grip that way. So if I fell, um, it was a safe release. So in the past I have um, tried to ride with a myelectric hand, which then would grip onto the reins, but I did fall once and experienced that the hand stayed on the horse. When I have to do strength and conditioning sessions in the gym, I have to really be conscious that I'm not sort of using my left side too much and then like, and compensating for my right side not being out of grip. So the same sort of situation with having to figure out how to hold the reins horse riding, it came down to figuring out how can I sort of grip weights or anything to actually get an even balance and pull or push. Um, so I found it was simply just um, weightlifting um, hooks that they use and it goes around the wrist and then it's just a small little hook that will sort of come out. So then sort of the resistance is coming from my wrist um, and then that means I can equal, equally grip something and then use the weights properly and correctly. So it's working, you know, for example, both my shoulders evenly or I can do one arm movement. So that sort of has worked quite well. with triathlon hopefully is now that I've realised that I, I really enjoy it and I'm sort of training full time now is that I've qualified for the race in Japan um, on the 16th of May which is an international para triathlon race and then hoping to race again in an international para triathlon race in Detroit which will be in August and then from there there will be an elite camp and then hopefully my um, performances this year um, so far have been good. I just recently won the national championships, which was awesome. And so hopefully then I'll qualify for the world championships in Chicago in September this year, which will, which will be great to get that experience and to, to race in a race like that, an international event would be fantastic. And then long term and kind of short term, because it's not that far away, is to hopefully make the Rio Paralympic team uh, for next year for triathlon. Stubborn, um, determined, I guess passionate. I don't like to 
to be told I can't do something. Um, so I always try and I guess that's where my stubbornness comes, comes from. And some people have said to me recently, especially coming into traffic, they've gone, Gee, you know, one few months ago you said you wanted to give something a go and now you're like, you know, it's not just about just doing one triathlon, it's like let's just take on the world and do international races and try and represent the country. So I'm a bit like that, it's all or nothing for me. I've been a patron of the Aussie Hands charity since 2007 and I was honoured to be um, invited to become the patron. And I, initially I didn't actually know about the charity until then, so Coming up to their 15 year anniversary, you know, I was honoured to be a part of this great foundation um, for half its lifetime to date. So I think it's fantastic. This charity actually, not only as a patron is that, you know, I like to mentor and inspire younger children, but it also gives me, um, it, opened my, it opened my eyes as well and gave me a lot of advantage to see that there are a lot of similar similarities between myself and other adults and children there and I did notice that it can be quite daunting for parents as well that have had a, a newborn that's got a hand difference and how that can be a bit overwhelming. Um, so to be able to just share my stories in growing up, you know, to see how that sort of helps each, helps them and sort of puts things at ease that everything, you know, will be okay. It's just, that's just life and it, you know, we're all going to sort of face the same difficulties in life. Um, but it's really good that everyone can network and get together and um, share some stories and some commonalities too and have a bit of a laugh along the way. I think that's what's great about Aussie Hands is that everyone has a real, it's like a small little family and I think that's fantastic. And my role really, as I said, is probably just a bit around the mentoring and just sharing stories and, you know, kids come along and they're quite curious to see that, oh look, there's that girl that has a hand similar to me and she's done this and this and this. So, you know, at the end of the day for me it's just doing what I love to do, but to see kids think, oh that's cool and now I know I can do it, then, you know, that, that's awesome for me. I love that. It's very rewarding. what it's all about is really just giving things a go um, you know we we've only sort of been we're sorry we're only here sort of for one lifetime and I think don't be afraid to sort of step outside your comfort zone give things a go there is never any right or wrong way to do something just do what you, you want to try and, and embrace it and enjoy it and there is always a way to figure it out it doesn't matter if someone else does it differently to you. Uh, I think we live in a society today where anything is possible, so I think just embrace life and go for it. And happy anniversary, Aussie Hands.